Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News, our first episode since last Friday, so a lot of big stories to catch up on. And for the few hundred of you guys who actually saw this video go live about an hour ago, I had to make some big changes to our first story today involving liquid Stannis Law. Now at first I thought it was the real Stannis Law, but it does seem we have a fake uh, liquid Stannis Law account going around and asking randoms for skins, obviously, you know, imitating Stannis Law because he also has many pro players on his friends list. So if I get the link to the profile, I'll link it down below for all of you guys to report this but a very well-known scammer and doing very well for himself I'm guessing because he actually has a long list of pro players on his friends list I'm really not sure how he convinced these guys to add him on his steam profile or maybe those steam profiles are also fake but Doja, RPK, Happy, a long list of pro players are on his friends list and that's how he uses that friends list to actually imitate being Stannis Law to ask all of you guys for skins so please be aware for all of you guys who think pro players ask you for skins real pro players probably don't need your skins but here is the original clip of someone sending to me that I actually believed he actually was you know, asked by Stannis Law to give him skins for the ECS finals and at, you know, of course my first instinct was to believe oh that's not Stannis Law but then he showed me this video where he actually clicked on the profile he went through the friends list yo I need someone to loan me a few skins for ECS for a day okay so I'm like I mean I have a nice Scar 20 Storm which was just a joke and then I said no offense but I can't give you my Huntsman Integrity which is like $300 real Stannis Law we go to his profile and it's this one team liquid captain twitch tv stannis law and then we go to his friends here we see tyloo players gambit players um spirit i'm just gonna get the vp so and I believed him but thank you to you guys who actually commented down below this is a fake Stannis Law account hopefully I'll link that down below for all of you so we can all report that account it is a fake one and he did not ask for skins so I do apologize everyone for the inconvenience but I had to re-upload today's video just to fix that story now talking about real scams out there CSGO Shuffle the man himself Phantom Lord and his you know former girlfriend that is Dingle Derper have officially broken up now thank you to Care he actually owns a skin trading website out there he gave this information to me two weeks ago where Dingle Derper actually changed her Twitter location from Las Vegas to her actual hometown and that is back in New Jersey. Now I didn't cover this story back then because it was not confirmed yet but Dingle Derper has confirmed it herself. Phantom Lord and Dingle Derper, the former you know cringy couple out there, actually kind of a cute couple at the time because everyone loved them before the scandal came out with CSGO Shuffle and other websites. Obviously Phantom Lord making upwards of eight million dollars from those scams knowing the rules so on and so forth. You guys know the story but apparently not too big of news out there for you guys but just in case you were wondering Dingle Derper and Phantom Lord have have now officially broken up. She is back in her hometown. So maybe trying to break those ties away from the negativity of being tied to Phantom Lord. They are now done. And some updates on some bigger stories out there coming soon for all of you. I do want to update you guys on my OP Skins affiliate code again. Thank you all so much. My last video we broke 400 users. We are building an army of OP Skins affiliate code users and I want to get you guys a little update as well. For all of you guys who are commenting down below, Jake, I already have an OP Skins account. You can still use my code. Simply click it and then just sign in and that uses you guys as my OP Skins affiliate and I do appreciate that our army has grown ever since last video at 400 we are now at 423 users thank you all so much for that even a bigger story though you guys remember Mario my man from the ESCA referral scam this guy has made $35,000 of ESCA referrals off of advertising make his own advertisement through Google uh, so on and so forth and ESCA is refusing to pay him his last around $32,000 I'm going to cover this story in full when it's done but I want to update you guys right now Mario is actually teamed up with the one and only video game attorney, very well known for his position against Valve uh, and the whole, you know, uh, using Valve as a gambling uh, mediator between their Steam bots and so on and so forth. He remember his position against that as that lawsuit does go on and unfortunately not looking too good for them against Valve, such a large company who has not really taken too much action against gambling. But Mario, our man guy, is trying to get his ESCA referral money. It seems he has teamed up with video game attorney and that is definitely a good thing for him. So best of luck to Mario and I will cover the story next. Next time I actually talk about the story is when it's probably going to be done, hopefully he's going to be going to court sometime soon and it will be a long process but best of luck my man he is now fighting ESCA and fighting for his money and he truly probably deserves it and this next segment I'm in a real off for all of you like no other so please time markers are down below this will be ECS final spoilers the tournament that did happen this last weekend so if you guys have or have not seen the ECS matches these will be spoilers for all of you the person who or the team who actually won the $250,000 grand prize I will talk about that during this segment but first of all in group A technically the group A of death throughout this tournament we had three heavy hitting 
Canadian teams. We had G2, FaZe Clan, SK, and the heavy underdog for this group, which actually turned out to be correct, was Optic Gaming. Now, going into this, Optic Gaming, obviously, switching out between Jason R and Hayes. Hayes, their newest IGL, stepped down from being coach, and Jason R left that lineup, and they certainly lived up to what we actually thought of their expectations-wise. Optic went 0-3 for map play during this. They actually got beat by FaZe Clan on day one and then lost to G2. They were swept by G2 in the best of three series and in dominating fashion, 16-6 and 16-5 both those matches. So Optic Gaming definitely struggling, but either way, guys, Optic, not a big surprise, not doing too well in the group A, which is definitely one of your harder groups, but it actually was FaZe Clan who beat out G2 in that last best of three, and it was FaZe Clan and SK Gaming taking group A. Now going on, in a surprising fashion here for North America, actually Liquid almost making it through in group B, but it was actually Cloud9 taking it over Fnatic as well as uh, then beating Astralis in overtime to take on top of group B. They went 2-0 and and actually went straight to the semis like every other team, but they were your number one team going through, and it was actually Astralis in overtime over Liquid. A crazy a crazy you know, fight over there between Liquid. Liquid showing up and playing very well, but unfortunately enough, it was Inferno that did Liquid over, and they lost to Astralis in a best of three, 2-1. to one. Astralis, certainly your better team there, but a great showing by Liquid. Now, going forward as well, it was actually SK Gaming over Astralis in the semifinals. SK Gaming showing great form here throughout the entire tournament because both in the semifinals and the finals, you'll find out later, SK Gaming dropped the first map and came back and won the last two maps. Something that only you know rare teams out there can actually do. It was actually SK who lost that first map to Astralis on overpass 16 to 12, and they came back on Mirage 16 to 14, and a close match on Inferno as well, 16 to 12, taking out Astralis and making a, a second consecutive finals after last weekend as well at DreamHack Summer Open. So SK Gaming coming off some amazing tournaments so far, and this one they proved even better because SK Gaming did face off against FaZe Clan, who actually got Cloud9 that draw, a rough draw for them. Cloud9 was going to have a tough time either way. It was FaZe Clan, though, over Cloud9, 2 nothing On map 2, though, Cloud9 could have forced a map 3, as it was Mirage, and Cloud9 did go up 15-6 to on that last side there, on their CT side. And the North American crowd erupted, including myself. I tweeted out this. There were several people in the crowd. They were fidget spinning. They were saying just North American things in my tweet itself. I mean, 15-6 to on your CT side. You guys know what I'm going to say. I mean, everyone else already said it. The analysts, everyone, the commentators, days went off on these guys as well. How you blow on Mirage, which, you know, eight to ten months ago was a heavily CT-sided map. Apparently, the meta has changed over that course of time. It now seems teams are having a pretty easy time getting seven to eight rounds in their T-side, but Cloud9 blowing 15 to six lead while on their CT-side was an incredible thing to see. Now, obviously, a big mistake there, but nonetheless, many of you guys know after watching that match, FaZe was certainly the better team, and they deserved to go forward. They did face off against SK in the final, and once again, a rare team. We have not seen them in this kind of form in a few months and ever since then we've seen it these past few weeks especially DreamHack Summer Open and, and you know, especially the new, at new their newest addition with Phelps being such a young player there showing such stardom because the things they can actually do after losing the first map is incredible to see. FaZe Clan taking map number one and it was SK coming back on Inferno and Train both maps making a great final here it goes to the final map map three and a best of three and Inferno and Train both ended 19 to 17 in favor of FaZe Clan in overtime and it was a crazy uh, way to see them actually win another back-to-back -back weekend tournament, this time around $250,000 in their pocket. So congrats to SK Gaming. That was insane to see, and it made for another great weekend of CSGO content. And very last in today's episode of CSGO News, I do have to apologize to you guys. My voice is slowly going away, so I'm probably going to take tomorrow off. But yes, we do have Peacemaker, the North American coach who first coached Tempo Storm a long time ago, then moved to Liquid, and then of course is currently on Misfits. He took actually a step-down role there. He was formerly their head coach and is now just a strategic coach and, and an analyst going forward, though it seems he might be leaving the organization for a short amount of time. As of right now, we don't know if he's actually officially stepping down from Team Misfits or still remain on their roster as a strategic coach. But for the time being, he will be coaching Team Tai Lu for two tournaments coming up. Of course, the PGL Major Qualifier that will be in Bucharest in just a couple weeks' time. Actually, next week that will happen. And of course, for ESL Cologne 2, he will be with Team Tai Lu. So another big change here for Peacemaker. And obviously, you guys have heard about the story about his downfall there, the struggles he has faced in the past few weeks. So it does seem Peacemaker is making another team change, guys, and he'll be teaching and actually coaching the Chinese team Tai Lu for both ESL1 Cologne in July and along with the PGL qualifier, the major qualifier, happening just next week. So best of luck to Peacemaker. Can he redeem himself? Hopefully he can. Hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of CSGO News. My voice is so shot. I'm going to keep it short. Live, love, laugh a lot. Remember, I like you. I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow or in two days with more CSGO News. Uh, goodbye.